Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to do a first impressions on some new items I picked up from the new Chanel Le Pearl line. You guys know I've been trying to get a little bit more into Chanel, so with their newest collection, I wanted to pick up a few items that caught my eye. So if you want to see the demo and my thoughts as I first apply them, then just keep watching. Okay, if you've been following me, I've done a little bit of chatter about absolutely being in love with the blush item that I recently picked up from Chanel's spring collection. And Chanel released a new collection. It's called the Le Pearl collection. I'm officially, I'm on board. I loved the cheek product so much and I'm still getting acquainted with Chanel and their formula so that really was what this was about. I tried to get like one of each formula. So yeah, I ordered from the Chanel website and I'm so excited. I haven't even swatched anything yet so this is going to be a true first impressions and I'm hooked now you guys. I want to place some more Chanel orders. I want to try more formulas. I love the feeling of getting the box. I can't afford a purse, so I'll buy the makeup. Let's um get into it. Like I said, I haven't picked up everything from the collection. All of the information that I got and what helped me make my decision was following Erin Nicole's video. She is an expert on Chanel. I definitely think if you're looking for some great information on Chanel Beauty, you should take a look at her channel. I believe she used to manage a counter at Nordstrom and she, just, she knows her stuff, okay? She's the person to go to when you want to know about how the new collection compares to old collection collections, comparisons. She really knows the ins and outs of Chanel Beauty. So I'm gonna put her video down below because it helped me make my decisions. So ultimately I did pass on the quad. It looks like this. It didn't look like anything that I was really interested in. I just didn't think it would be worth my money. It was $65 and it's a very sheer formula, which according to Erin, I'm gonna probably reference her through this video. The whole pearl collection is supposed to be pretty much a very sheer ethereal kind of look. And for me, I just couldn't justify $65 for that. I'm waiting for the perfect quad to pick up to really get into the Chanel eyeshadow formula, but I did decide to pass on that. So the first item that we're going to put to the test, I picked up a Balm Essential Multi Glow Stick. Now I actually have tried this formula before. I have a Balm Essential in the shade Golden Light. Now I bought this when I didn't know the formula. I thought it would be like a regular cream stick. It's like a shiny balm and this shade would be beautiful as a highlighter on a deeper complexion but for my skin tone it's kind of awkward I did actually use it today to add a little bit of depth you can see that shadow there but because of the balm consistency the finish on the skin is a little bit too shiny for what I would prefer for this shade I wanted to give this formula another try now that I kind of understand the formula more I decided to pick up one of the two shades that came out so I chose the shade Printinier which is this beautiful pinky rose shade they all also had another color in the shade Pearlescent. I kind of wish I picked that one up. We'll see how much I like this. I might go back for that one. It looks like a gorgeous glowy just highlighting stick that would actually work for my skin tone but I'm into pink cream blushes so I had to pick this up. So this is $45. 18 month shelf life and made in Italy. Let's try it on. So let me show you. You can see from swatching it it's very 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 sheer. It's more so about the shine. Hmm, I was hoping it would have a little bit more pigment, but let's play with it anyways. I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand. So I actually am using a BK Beauty 106 brush to apply it. I mean, this is beautiful all over the cheek. So it's not gonna give you much color like I was hoping it would, but I think it's perfect as an all over cheek color just because it gives you a glow, but it still adds a very, very subtle flush. I don't know if the camera will be able to pick up the very subtle flush of color, but it really just makes you look like you have a very fresh, glowy cheek. I probably would go in with a pink blush stick that I have from Chanel right on the apples, but I don't dislike that. But I do wish I would've gotten pearlescent. So these are very very sheer. <laughs> Lesson learned on that. It's pretty and these do based on my experience with the older one they stay a little bit more sticky like they don't dry down but they do dry down a little bit. 
they don't stay as sticky as when you first apply. But honestly, I don't think that was totally a necessary product for me to buy. But I feel like when I would like this is in the summer when I have a little bit of a natural flush and tan anyways, this would be great just to throw all over the cheek for a glow. I think I should have gotten pearlescent. See, this is, I'm so new to Chanel. I'm gonna make these mistakes and that's okay. <laughs> Let's go to the main reason why I purchased this collection. I am in love with Chanel highlighters. I have another one in my collection and I am starting to collect them now because they're just so beautiful. So this is the Pearl de Lumiere. It comes, of course, in the beautiful velvet sleeve. Classic Chanel packaging made in Italy, 18 month shelf life. You open it up, you have the brush and untouched, baby. No explanation is needed as to why I picked this up. Now a Chanel highlight or blush is a splurge. This was $75. I, I'm, I'm in love with it and I haven't even used it. So I'm gonna swatch it it now. There's no kickback. It's not like a loose powdery formula. I wouldn't say it's quite like a gelée formula, but it's a pretty hard pressed powder. And that's how the highlight looks in a swatch. You can kind of get a better view right there. So it looks like it could potentially be maybe a tad too dark, but mm, I think it'll be fine. Let's find out. I'm going to use my Kaleidos H1 brush. Yeah, see, it's not completely baked. I'm gonna put that right on the high points of my cheek. Now I do have that balm down, so it is gonna stick to the balm and it might end up being a little bit extra more glowy. Honestly, this is much more natural than I thought it was gonna be. And this is not a highlighter that you can over apply. It is actually quite natural. It's really, really pretty. So now we're gonna move on to the eye product that I picked up. I picked up the Eye Coal. It's like an eyeshadow liner cool. And there's two colors. There's a burgundy color that came out. I picked up the beige color at number 40. So I've never tried this formula from Chanel before. So I wanted to give it a try. So you can see it's like an eye coal. Very pretty, everyday kind of bronzy color. I wanted to line my lower lash line with this it looks really pretty see how it defines the eye but it's not harsh like a black this is why i love shimmery browns like this and i'm just gonna put it all over now you can use this as an eyeliner too if you want you don't have to go everywhere like i did but i want to test how this blends out it blends out very nice i don't know if i mentioned this but it is 34 dollars and it just gives you a nice natural kind of quick easy shadow to the eye honestly that's very nice. Yeah, I don't use products like this too often, so I'm happy that I have this. I'm gonna put it in my waterline as well. That is so nice for a one and done shadow. It's very easy to work with and just use your fingers. You don't need to use a brush. I think honestly, I know this is crazy, but this is my favorite thing that I've discovered from this collection. Hear me out. I know I love Chanel highlighters, okay? So this one is the most shocking because I did not expect to like it as much as I did. Okay, so I'm gonna do some mess mascara and then we'll be back with the final lip product that I picked up. Just put on a little bit of mascara. Let's move on to the lip products. Now there were a few different formulas that came out and a few shades within each formula. Given the whole mask situation, I just didn't want to buy too many lip colors, but I did pick up one. I wanted to play with a good Chanel lipstick. I have a Chanel lipsticks or a couple in my collection, but they're older. So I wanted to get a new one. So I ended up picking up the ultra hydrating lip color. I got it in the shade 10 dress and it looks like in this there's two hydrating lip colors there's one vibrant shine lip color or two excuse me two vibrant shines and one luminous intense lip color if you're familiar with their formulas this one looks to be like the lighter more natural of the two lipsticks of this formulation it's the typical chanel packaging and it's this gorgeous i feel like it's a wearable pink it's a little bit sheer i feel like this is going to be beautiful this formula it does have a little bit of almost like a metallic finish to it because it's that hydrating formula. I really like this color. I think this is perfect for the upcoming spring. It doesn't really go with my eyes. I feel like because of my eye color right now, I really want like a bold brown neutral lip. So the bright lips a little bit odd to me, but the formula feels really, really nice. I know Chanel lipsticks are very popular. So I'm looking forward to trying more from other formulas, but this one feels very hydrating. So I like it. And I like that it's not too 
too pigmented as well. All right, I'm gonna zoom out and kind of give you my final thoughts. So ladies and gentlemen, here is the final look. I mean, the overall vibe from what I was collecting from this collection is that it's not supposed to be really pigmented and just Chanel in general. It's not supposed to be super pigmented. It's just quality makeup, you know, really great, wearable, easy to use. And that's how I feel about this collection. So starting off with the Bomb Essential, if I'm being completely honest, I do wish I just picked up that pearlescent color. I'm learning that I'm just not the biggest fan of this product because I'm trying to use it in a way that it is not intended for. I like a cream blush, but an actual cream, not necessarily a bomb. And I need to try to stop making the pigmentation happen from these because I'm just not getting them. I didn't love my golden light. I don't love this one. I think it's nice. I think I will continue to use it. It does give a nice glow to my cheek. It does add a hint of color, but for the price that I paid personally, it's just not what I'm looking for. The highlighter, of course, I'm in love with. I think it is so beautiful. I love Chanel highlighters in general. This one's a little bit more natural, and as far as if it worked on my skin tone, it absolutely does. I don't see a cast from it, and it's really beautiful. It's mess-free. I think it's a really great everyday highlighter. Just know it's not going to give you super blinginess, but it's all about the experience. This is beautiful. I'm very happy with it. I don't think you need it. It's $70 for a highlighter, and let's be honest. If you're ordering from Chanel, you're ordering because it's Chanel. You're ordering for the experience, not just the products. So this for me, I got the full Chanel experience with. I am surprisingly into this eyeshadow liner coal formula. I'm interested in trying more like this. I normally don't like products like these, which is why I'm so surprised. I love this color. I think it's a great one and done shadow. I thought it was so easy to apply. It is a little bit more sheer. It's not super pigmented, but that's what is part of making it so easy to use and the particular color. Just great for every day. It defines the eye. I loved it in the waterline. I loved it in the lower lash line. So surprisingly, I think this is my favorite thing that I picked up from this collection. And you can also put a powder shadow on top of it as well and use this as a base. But so far alone, I'm not noticing any creasing or any hints of creasing. I'm very, very impressed by this. <laughs> so this is like my new favorite discovery. I love it. And then lastly, the lipstick. I really, really like it. This formula is hydrating. It's pretty wearable. You know, you can just throw it on. You don't have to worry about being completely in the lines. And I do recommend this color for spring. So I'm very happy with this as well. That is all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys. Have a good one.